guys welcome back to another video and today i'll be doing like 10 tips and tricks you guys can do to get better at the game so the first one is actually not worrying about trading because like when you first joined the game i did the same mistake and in like two weeks i was flipping level 12 what i did i was like watching youtubers with trading videos and stuff and from that i was trading everyone being scammed and stuff getting scammed like 24 7 so till your level 100 just don't trade and just play the game till a hunt to like level 100 because if you don't you'll just get carried away by trading and eventually never get like level 100 and never get good at the game so there's a button that says uh like as you can see over here turn trade requests off so then it can help you a lot this is a new account by the way on my other account level 100 i'm just using this one for youtube all right guys so tip number two is actually playing the game casually and not doing like all of this wetting and stuff because when you first join the game like all the mistakes people make is watching youtubers youtubers are all level 100 they're crap at this game so they're just doing videos to earn views and stuff you know and stuff like that they don't actually care about stuff like that they just do it for youtube and content so when you're first new to level 100 just like look in just look at tips and tricks videos and only videos like that so you actually get max level because till then like just play casually because if you play casually and just like getting coins and surviving a lot uh, as you guys can see actually gives you a lot of xp like collecting a full bag of coins and stuff i would recommend getting elite because elite is useless it just gives you like pet and wraps it's useless it's not nothing good but i recommend you get it when you're like past level 50 that's the time to get that but till then just play the game as you guys can see this is a mistake they made they made they uh, they play this game for a long time and you see they have chromas and stuff that's why they're not level 100 yet that's a mistake they made i don't really know that but they look like they've been playing this game for a long time by this style because they cracked out their mind that's all i'm gonna say guys so tip three you, like is one day wanting and stuff so i have to do something for my friends uh one day wanting is really good as you guys can see they're just upgrading the skills and stuff and never bet your godlies you see thousands of those videos out there but what they really do most of them i don't think there's anyone they go to their friends and one they want them and after the video their friends will give their guns back that's what mostly happens but like with just don't bet your godlies there's no point like 1v1 normally without winning nothing because you're winning 1v1 one, 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 normally there's when you when you 1v1 one, normally you would um you would like have no pressure on you so you'd actually play the game normally in a 1v1 and then you'll get super cracked so basically when you the, as i was saying playing normally if you play normally and like as you go up every 10 levels you play better at uh, level like uh, when levels don't matter they just uh, just to look at you but like when you've been playing for a long time playing normal you for other players will look like sweaty that's really how it works all right let me kill my friend real quick just don't bet any of your weapons even godlies like uh, godlies are a big one i mean if you want trade legendary legendaries are nothing you could do it out like you can get them out of crates but godlies are like a different story guys tip number three is actually to um not camp guns because when you camp guns you won't actually get better you're proving yourself bad to other players but i'm not doing this because i get angry it's just facts because when you think when you do this with like camping you just camping you don't actually play you just sit next to a gun and plus camping doesn't work like 50% of the time it's a 50 50 because some players have these techniques when they draw against the wall and like your hit your knife just goes through them but for some reason it doesn't hurt it's called anti-cheat or something that's what happens you get big karma it's something 
camping is something I used to do and then I got bad and then I just saw I learned I saw not camp and then I that just happened. And tip number five tip number five, just don't team. When you team you're proving yourself to the whole society you're trash at this game. So basically what bro you you shot me bro. You shot me, you shot me, you dash me. Oh hello. Easy. Oh my god, let, let me finish this real quick. Come on, bro, this knife. I'm never leaving. I'm never using this knife again. Yes, let's go. GG. I now let let them rage. Yeah, teaming. As I was saying, teaming is not good because like if you just have another friend to team with, you're ruining the experience for others and yourself. Because when you team, basically what happens when you team, you have another player always having your back. And when you play by yourself, nothing happens. You're just like dead. You always die because it's just like how it works. Like. Just don't team, because when you team, your skill level just goes down, and it's really true, because every player that's really good at the game had teamed before when they were new. Like, I teamed before with my friends, but I didn't really team because I was new. Like, I didn't even know what Mother Mystery 2 was. I didn't need to Roblox, and you know. But that's okay for, like, players that do that because they need to Roblox and stuff. Because players, when they need to Roblox, they just get their buddies and just play thousands of different games and they don't know nothing that's just facts i i he sees that i saw his weapon just don't team that's tip number five and tip number six is going having a private server and testing a lot of maps like this because as you can see like when you're running away or fighting like as you can see you can do do that you know the spots to do that you know the vents to go through, you know all the doors and stuff. Like testing maps is really good. I did that and now I'm like pro at every map. I was not focusing because I'm talking and he killed me. Why do you do that even when you celebrate? That's the lamest thing what to do when you celebrate. But you know, opinion. Number seven, I say that I really recommend. There's this app called longer.gg. Longer.gg. You write it, and then there's this app like gives godlies out for one pound. You can get really rare bundles. As you guys can see, I did, uh, I didn't get these. Uh, I all my weapons because this is a new account. I just wanted this account to be stuck because this is gonna be my main account from now. I brought this bundled bundle. I got that minty gun. I got those. These other people just gave me for free because I was new and you. Know? When you're new, just that happens. Those I got as well for three quid. And these actually cost, if you go to the shop, these cost three nine nine, And you can get those for three pounds of longer. Longer is like the best way to get godlies. Because they give godlies out for one pound. They give you like really rare items. I don't know what they really are. I think they're like, they're like there's like moderators that do that. They make oats and like, because they're moderators. Because... Because like the players that that like the stocks and stuff, they're actually fake players in a way. They just give you stuff. I think they're just. I think they're like the game that just created like bots. Cause like you can just run into them and they flip and fly, fly to the other side. That's really good for tip number seven. I think we're in seven. I don't know. Uh, eight. I think we're in yeah. Tip number eight is to get this emo. This emo is just the best emo ever. Like, look what I can do. Wait, let me just stab him real quick. Look what you can do. Like, you can get really good hiding spots. Like, here, sit like that. Look, if I wait for him, I'll obviously win the battle. Where is he? Let's go! No, 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 no! No! 
Alright, I got the good, I got the better angles. He's at the, oh, he's dead. He is dead. And uh, this emo is I got, like you can hide in bathtub, this is just the best thing to have. It's only 800 coins as I say pay, uh, play passively and pay passively, so play passively, don't even know how to talk, pay, uh, pla whatever, you don't know what I mean. So you can get more coins, you can camp, cause not camp weapons, like camp like hide as an innocent. Because that's the best way to level up and just do stuff like that. But don't always come do like one cup hide and one cup like test your skills to do like these stuff and like it's called breaking ankles. Breaking ankles. So basically what you do, you go like that and then they just go like that and then you just do that and go behind them. It's basically just outsmarting them in a way. I guess it's good to do. So that's tip number eight and tip number nine is to i don't even know what to did i already do nine yeah we're on nine now yeah uh tip number nine is to like when you get these radio it's a waste of robux just it's i don't recommend it at all radio i just bought it because you know when i have when i have robux i just spend it randomly in i don't know why i just do as you guys can see, I brought these limited, which I'm probably never going to use again in a couple of months. But, you know. Where even is he? Yeah, tip number nine is to not spend Robux on random stuff. And to spend ro uh not spend Robux, spend coins and grants. Because look, 1,000 coins is nothing. That's just like 30, half an hour of grinding, if you do the strat I told you. When the first one you should get is sprint, because sprint if you're murder, you're literally gonna destroy the lobby. Then you're gonna wanna get the fake gun, cause like when you're a when you're a killer, it, like when you're a killer, everyone will surround you because they'll think you're a sheriff, and then you'll get like a million six k XP for having like. A million kills and then the last and best one is ghost ghost is just it's too op i don't even know why it's in the game it's too op to be in the game but that's just some grinding to do because it's 6k coins that's like five hours six hours of grinding half a day i know he's there or something bro i missed my shot bro What are you saying? He's probably raging. Number 10 actually has 10 tips. Till so you're level about 50, don't even look at YouTubers doing these godly stuff. After level 50, go to longer.gg and then for one pound you can get godly. Then people for one godly will offer like thousands of guns. You just make profit. Out of one pound you make 10 pounds basically in guns. So one pound isn't a lot. You can probably ask your mom. You can probably find out on the street outside, like what as you're walking. Cause let's say when I go outside, there's sometimes one pound. If you find twenty, then you're lucky. The lucky, I don't know. Uh, the gods have your side. And uh, tip ten, the final tip. When you die, cause you die. When you die, just don't like what as you're playing. Just don't like. Um, rage like when you die don't leave the server and go to a new one because if you die like at the start of the round if the progress you did the xp wouldn't be given because they only give the xp to you when like it says sh uh, sheriff and murder that's when the boss goes up so i mean i don't know just don't rage quit because rage quit is what uh, i did on my other account and then I missed like an event that right now I'm gonna be super rich. I am rich, but like you know, super limited and stuff. Don't even know what it was. That's it. Just don't rage quit. Just push yourself to the limits. But you do need to switch servers like every ten minutes. Every ten minutes you switch servers for because you might have teamers. You might have annoying people. Just try and get the servers with like you play as your. Uh, plays your, um, uh, plays your, what to say, 
plays your skill level so plays near your level and stuff like that that's the servers you should go to not like servers like if you're level 20 you play with levels under 40 if you're level 1 play with under 20s basically you get what i'm saying it's just because like if you play players way better way better than you you're gonna rage quit that's how i quit rage quit because I always went into server with good people because I thought I'd get better, but it's not like that. You need to play with your kind of skill players. Wait, when you get, when you first go, don't even spend one coin on these box. You might as well spend one pound, one pound on a flipping godly on the app. By the way, the app is not sponsoring. I'm just saying because it's really good for like everyone if you play this game. Everyone that plays this game can afford one pound because like you use a device which costs so much Yeah, I know you have like one pound. I mean it's your decision you can do it, but like Just these are not things to good to touch with first save up your coins first This is the first thing everything here is useless buy this This thing is the best and then in powers over here Buy these I'll tell you the really good ones but ninja because it makes us uh nice silent uh this one no sprint extremely good fake gun extremely good ghost is extremely good that's the thing don't spend your stuff on heels even when you're super good just wait for events when it's like a halloween event that's when save your coins and gems for events because that's what you do i'm not ignoring you i am um, i'm I have a record. Bro, are you kidding me? It tagged. So that's it for today's video. If you guys can comment any more suggestions, I'll comment, I'll reply to a comment and say yes or no. But I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.